So, who wants to dance? It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Ah, uh, just in time. Hey, bug eyes. There's only two ways this can end, and in both of them, you die. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. I am the king of the world, baby. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sentinel here, and in case you're wondering, yes, I love Duke Nukem. I mean, after all those Duke references, it's kind of hard to tell, but let's talk about today's topic. You're probably wondering, Sent, this is a helicopter, not a refrigerator. Sent, you promised a fridge. I want those refrigerated cookies. Okay, I saw that one coming. I, I really did. But here's the deal. Before I even begin explaining what's going on, I'm going to ask you guys to try and concentrate on what I'm saying instead of actually getting distracted by that beautiful kill feed that'll just keep scrolling up and up and up. Okay, so there's a Rush server, right, that the crew and I regularly play on, and because I'm not going to be saying anything bad about them, just because I love their servers, I'll name them its KOF 48 Man Rush. That way those of you who know the server will know I'm not lying. So here's the deal. Their server has a bunch of different rules, right? A bunch of rules about spawn camping, etc, etc, including respecting other players and language filters. By now, the crew and I have already experimented on the server, and if you say words like shit, the server will automatically kill you. And if you do it a second time, it'll kick you. And that's exactly what's going to happen if you don't play with random pilots and play together with people on TeamSpeak. You crash into an indestructible light pole instead of getting taken out by a rocket. Moving on, if you drop the F-bomb, even if it's the first time, you'll get kicked. Like I've seen many guys typing in the chat when they got one ticket left, saying, Fuck yeah, we got the MCOM, and all of a sudden they get kicked, and I honestly feel bad for them, you know? That's okay, that's okay, they're just trying to make a more respectable environment for the people on the server. You know, even though the characters in the game drop the F-bomb only every minute or so, and this leads to some of the players calling out butthurt admins, and the admins end up kicking them, and... I know I made a promise not to make anybody look bad here. Okay, so you're probably wondering, but Sant, what does that have to do with a fridge? Do they lock you up in a fridge? We're getting there, okay? Here's what's weird. Okay, I'm so embarrassed right now. I like I really am embarrassed right now. I got killed by an Igla and he's a low ranker. I'm gonna go and put my head in a hole after this video. Here's what happened. One day a friend of mine, which some of you might know by the name of Quadrility, was chatting with someone on the other team and I really don't remember what he was saying but he ended up saying you put them in a refrigerator next thing we know he gets kicked out of the server and we were like what the hell a few weeks after another friend of mine typed in refridge he didn't even type the full thing and ended up getting a two hour ban yes a two hour ban can you believe that and this is what happens when you do play with a random pub as a pilot he doesn't land the chopper so we can fix it. If you look at the chat, I was begging the guy, and he never did land it, by the way. We just exploded in midair. Moving on. At that moment, we were all at this the fuck sign above our heads. What the hell's going on? So another friend of mine suggested we go in there one day, and since we're all friends with some of the admins on there, we tell them this. And I kid you not, we did end up doing it. So let me tell you what happened. We went in there, and I said, okay, so I'm having a brain fart here. And a friend typed a word that's not considered a swearing word in the chat, and he got a two-hour ban for it. What's the deal with that? So they asked what the word was, and I obviously didn't want to type it in. So I said, what's cold, and you put milk and eggs in it. It took the admin a good five to ten minutes to think, and this is what he told me. The database that they used for the language filters is old, and even though the word refrigerator is no longer used, but it probably means, and I quote, it probably means a sexually unreceptive female. And I'm guessing that basically means an infertile female. I'm honestly having a brain fart here, guys. If any of you know about this, I would love to know if that's what it really means. I need your help on this to relieve me of my brain fart because I googled this and there was not one thing, not one thing I could find on it, not one. I just don't understand. I mean, I've never ever come across a definition for the word refrigerator and but that's what it is if you guys know this server just go on there and try it out for fun just to have a laugh and you'll most probably find me on there playing it's a good server you know so while we're having fun with this helicopter I thought I'd give you guys my specs because I know a lot of you want to know what I run so as a pilot I run the ECM jammer 
stealth, and anti-air missiles. As a gunner, I normally run maintenance, TV missiles, and flares. Sometimes I may switch out between maintenance and stealth, just because my pilot might have maintenance or a different spec. So I think that stealth is definitely something that you must carry with your chopper. You have to have stealth, it really helps out, especially trying to get away from those lock-ons. That's pretty much what I do. I normally try to play with people on TeamSpeak or on Skype. It's really hard to play with a random pub. It really is a challenge as you guys saw in the video. It's not going to be as easy. First of all, it's going to be very hard to communicate. And second, you might end up having the same spec, so it's not going to be easy playing together. So I think that's enough chopper whoring for one day. If you guys would be so kind as to give this video a comment, and even kinder as to give it a rating, it would really mean a lot to me, and I would really appreciate it. This is the Sentinel signing out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh man, close one. He tried to kill us right at the end there. You little fucker.